Hello everybody, it's Andrea here at Andy Knits and today we're going to be demonstrating single motif and I will be demonstrating on the Brother KH260 Chunky Knitting Machine. Of course this can be done on any knitting machine at all. You simply need to follow the instructions for sim single motif for your particular machine but the concept of wrapping the yarn remains the same regardless of the machine you're working with. Okay, so as you can see, I've cast on and knitted a few rows with my main colour. I've also cut off a length of my main colour, which will be needed for wrapping shortly. And I'm, I've cut off about two metres um, to make sure that I have plenty of yarn. So we need to get set up now for single motif. First of all, you need your single motif cams. Now these simply snap together like so, and then you position them on the bed where you want your single motif to appear. Now this can be off to the left, off to the right, or in the center, anywhere at all that you want it to appear. I'm going to pop it into the center of the bed for this demonstration and make sure that it is pushed right firmly back against the rail like so. I have my motif punch card in the reader and that is locked on row one. And now I need to set my carriage to single motif like so. Um, if you have a Brother Standard Gauge ma machine, that would of course be KC2. Now, to start, we need to make sure we are outside of the turn mark. And now we are ready to get started with the first selection row. So, I move the carriage to the left. And as you can see, we now have some needles selected in the middle of the bed. And this is the start of the single motif. Okay, so next we need to release the punch card. And we need to set the carriage for the second colour. So we take our second colour, which is threaded into the B slot. Like so. And we also need to push in the MC mixed colour, multiple colour, or fair aisle, you may know it as button. And we are ready to knit our first row with two colours. Okay, so there we have our first row. It's at this point we need to start with our wrapping. So I've taken the length of yarn from earlier, I folded it in half, and I'm now going to hang it on the first needle immediately past the selected needles. Now make sure when you move that needle forward that you don't pop the stitch behind the latch. If you do, just use your transfer tool to pop it back in front of the latch. Okay, so that is now hanging on there, and we can begin. Okay, now you only need to wrap on the side of the carriage. So if you split those two yarns like so, we have our carriage on the left-hand side, so we now need to wrap the needle immediately to the left of the last patterning needle. So again, remember not to move it so far forward that the stitch drops behind the latch. Wrap the yarn onto that needle and you're then ready to move back. The carriage is now on the right hand side so we will be wrapping the first needle immediately past the last selected needle on the right hand side. And again, make sure your stitch doesn't go behind the latch. We continue in this way all the way up until the single motif is complete. Wrapping on the side of the carriage each time.
reason we wrap the yarn, oops, I've just put that behind the latch. So I'm just going to use my transfer tool to pop it back in front like so. The reason we wrap the yarn is so that we get a nice tight edge between our two colours on the edge of the pattern. Otherwise, if you don't do this, what tends to happen is you get a very loose, floppy edge um, and the stitches tend to sort of move apart from each other. Okay, as you can see, we have now reached the top of our single motif and we are ready to remove our second colour now. So leave yourself a long enough end to sew in. You can lock off the punch card, remove your single motif cams and then set your carriage back to normal knitting. And there we have our single motif butterfly. Thanks for tuning in guys. Bye for now.